Boat number eight. Fighting out of the blue corner. Omar Sobri. Abdurrahman van der Neck. is three rounds in Claudia's featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of zero win, one loss. He stands 180 centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.8 kilograms. Representing Cicero Costa Jiu-Jitsu, fighting out of Egypt. Oh my! Sobre! And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of one win, zero loss. He stands 178 centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.1 kilograms. Representing Venom. Fighting out of Egypt. Abdurrahman Vendor Nair! And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Fahmi. Omar. <sighs> I'm fired up for this one. Super excited for this fight. Omar Sabri versus Abdurrahman Nail. Vander in the red trunks versus Omar Sabri in the black trunks. Both fighters have fought in previous Qadia events. Uh, 
Both fighters are, have extremely good boxing. Let's start with this one because both of them are standing up right now. We're going to see some nice boxing exchanges, I believe so. They're, they're both tall, lengthy fighters, and they're going to utilize their striking here today. Omar Sabri had a great fight with uh, Mohamed Azem in his last bout, and uh, Abdelhane had a win in his last uh, Qadiyah event. Not a normal win. He's got a very good TKO uh, from a body shot. This guy knows how to mix up his targets well. He's, got, he's an extremely slick striker. He can fight from both stances. And uh, I'm very excited to see what he has in store for us tonight. And those low kicks by both fighters. I was just going to say, those low kicks by Nail are connecting. Nice. Sobri should down. try and check that kick. And uh, Omar Sobri representing Cesaro Costa, which is a BJJ heavy gym. We'll see what he does tonight. They're both exchanging low kicks here, trying yes. to put a point to each other. Abdurrahman is having more success. Ooh, nice right by, uh, by Omar Sabri. Yeah, nice clean. left hook also by Omar Sabri. Clean technique by Omar Sabri. We'll see how Nail adjusts. Omar Sabri, uh, the fighter, has a size advantage, I believe. He's a bit bigger than uh, Abdurrahman. I like how he's jabbing and moving. He, he, he uses his strikes and then he moves. Checking on his opponent here, very classy from Omar. Omar Sobri, utilizing his reach with that jab, he, 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 he pu pu pushes that jab uh, so far away. Well, he has something to prove coming off a loss. Uh, Abdurrahman Nail catches him with a left Ooh, hook. He's he drops oh! Nearly knocked him down. With a check hook, another, he keeps on hitting. Oh, wow! Sabri should stay composed here. Back-to-back -back knockdowns from both sides, ladies and gentlemen. This the is best, a war. The best reply to a knockdown is a knockdown up for yourself. Exactly, sir. Watch out for Abdurrahman Nail's uh, slick switching stances. He can fight from both stances. Abdurrahman taking the center of the octagon here. Pre putting pressure on Omar Sabri here. Sabri is very composed. Oh. Though. Oh. Did they clip him here? I don't think so. No, uh, I don't think sure. he clipped him. I'm not sure, no. Abdurrahman Nail is looking for that check hook, but Sabri... This yeah. nice low kick. I think there's something uh, in uh, Omar Sabri's left leg, guys. It might be compromised from all of those low kicks from Abdurrahman. Yeah, it's, uh, it's already getting red and swollen here. So another one to the left leg. Yeah, Vander Omar is Sabri here. timing these low kicks as uh, as Sabri is going inside the range. Got another low kick to by by uh, by Abdurrahman. I, I love how Vander is uh, investing in those low kicks and he's yeah. pointing at uh, Omar Sabri's legs and Omar Sabri oh. sticking his tongue out. <laughs> We have a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a nice right hand by Omar. Oh! That left hook connects. And Omar Sabri, so composed, does not run for the finish because he knows how dangerous Vander is. He's Omar now putting in the pressure himself. Oh, Omar's pressuring him against the fence. How resilient is Omar Sabri? That leg, oh, that leg is compromised. Kind of. uh, Vander keeps on going for that left check hook. Watch out for that punch. He's timing it very nicely with the low kick of Omar Sabri. Nice check by Omar Sabri. Nice check. Lovely check by Omar Sabri here. Ooh, that, uh, that jab lands. That jab stops Vander from uh, his potential attack. I'm putting pressure back again here. And a low kick from Omar himself. There's a cut on uh, Omar's face here. As we expected, guys, a, a, a striking clinic from both sides. We'll see who comes out on top. I'm very excited for this matchup. What high do you guys think? High level striking from both fighters. I, I love how both strikers are using that low kick. And Jab to the body by Omar Sabri. And guys, I think uh, Vander's... <laughs> Those left kicks are piling <laughs> up and I think Sabri is walking a little bit funny. And uh, Vander t uh, tells the referee that uh, he's getting popped in the eye by Omar Sabri, but the referee does not see it. Yeah. Ooh, nice takedown attempt from Vander. Sabri reacts. Sabri, great takedown. Sabri goes to mount. Straight into mount using the underhook as a piston. He almost got the mount. Now he's in full mount. Now Sabri's in full mount. But ground and pound by Omar Sabri. Ground and pound by Omar Sabri. Wow, amazing work by Omar Sabri here. Very aggressive, but Vander is still in the fight. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Hit Oh, nice elbows from Omar Sabri. Ten seconds left. Vicious elbows. Vander needs to survive for ten seconds. 
Omar, so Omar trying to finish it here. These are some vicious elbows, guys. A nice way oh, to end the, the round by Omar Sabri. Abdurrahman is cut really badly on his forehead, guys. One of those elbows must have connected because that he's yeah. really hurt right now. That elbow is like a nice. Let's talk about the composure of Omar Sabri. He's Extremely composed. Extremely composed. Compromised left leg, and he still goes on for that pressure. And attempted knock, uh, attempted takedown. He goes for the full mount, vicious elbows from the from the top position. Slicing Amazing work. Through the forehead of they, they might they might stop the fight if there's a lot of. Uh, well, the cut is really I don't bad, I don't think right? it's that bad of a cut, but uh, yeah, they're, they're fixing it right. Hopefully now. not. Yeah, it's it's, it's a very uh, interesting fight. It would be very very sad if this happened. And uh, uh, both I, both fighters have uh, very strong corners. Uh, Abdurrahman Nail cornered by the welterweight champion Muhammad Salim. Badia's welterweight champion and uh, Omar Sabri's corner, the Cesaro Costa team, with you know, Ahmed El Sisi. Do you know why they call him Vander? Why? Professional, uh, he, he used to be a professional goalkeeper and uh, one of his idols is uh, oh, Van oh, Van 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 the goalkeeper. <laughs> Interesting, I think he's the only fighter we have whose background is in goalkeeping. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's interesting also that you pointed out that Sabri has a very calm attitude to this fight. You meet him in real life, he's actually very calm in real life. So that reflects his fighting style as well to me. He looks very stoic and very calm, very collected. I like I like his strategy also. Amazing work by both fighters in round number one. I think I think I think I think Very nice uh, fact pointed out by coach uh, Sharaf, saying that the red corner is right beside the cage door, which is a disadvantage for the blue corner, because between the fight uh, between the rounds, the corners have to go into the cage to uh, tell the instruction to the fighter. So the red corner goes into the cage way faster than the blue corner. Coach Sharaf, the BJJ black belt from uh, Team Cesar Costa here, pointing uh, pointing one, us out. One of the top BJJ coaches uh, in Egypt. Of course, of course. And we have Ahmed El Sisi, uh, arguably the top one lightweight uh, in Qadia. Omar Sabri's corner. Monster corner to half. And it's obvious that Omar Sabri is doing amazing work from, from the corner he has. He's representing well today. Oh, and they actually moved the blue corner. Uh, Coach Sharf Coach nice. now is uh, right beside the door, waiting for his uh, chance to get inside. Now on to round two. looking at his uh, at his foot, is there uh, is something on the ground maybe? Yeah, both fighters are pointing onto the ground. They stop oh, uh, the fight, they time out the fight. We'll see what, I don't know what's wrong. I think the ground there's might be slippery. Yeah, uh, there's some water maybe on the on the ground. So okay. the, the guy who's going to clean it up. The referee is going inside. Yeah. Sorry for the technical difficulties here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the mob guy. Guys, take a, the work. Take, take this chance to take a breath from this. Exactly. Uh, barn burner of a fight you can blink now yeah because you're yeah. not going to be blinking the rest of the round trust me yeah both of these guys got some heavy hands man we got the Kodia team taking care of the octagon but Omar Sabri, uh, I love how Omar Sabri utilizes his, his reach whenever he throws that jab it goes 10 10 hundred yards away and uh, Van der Sar is very good at mixing up his targets. As we said, he, he's, he won his last fight with a body shot. Yeah, amazing. The only body shot we have. Catches him with the right hand, Omar Sabri. Nasty. That clipped him. Omar Sabri very big for his frame, for the featherweight division here. What do you think, guys? Yeah, uh, yeah, I said that. I think Omar Sabri is a bit big for that division, which means... Yeah. It could be a, a lightweight, maybe a left, a left to as well. Yeah, maybe. With that height. Omar Sabri is extremely composed, eyes on the target, waiting laser for his chance. Laser focus. On you can see. But Vander is no joke, he has experience in the cage, and you can never count him out. And guys, uh, what do you think about the reversal of the takedown from Omar Sabri? You think Vander will go for another takedown? I'm, I'm, I doubt he's going to go for the takedown again because Omar Sabri... Ooh. Omar Sabri has, of course, gained his respect on the ground right now, so I think Vander would go for another takedown. 100% he trains uh, under shut of BJJ Black Belt and Cesar Costa, so these guys uh, know what they're doing. Nice and inside black kicks by Omar Sabri. He should be aware of that check hook. I like how he's reaching throw. like right now. He's got extremely long hands, guys. I, I want to know how, how long this guy's reaches. 
It's crazy he's a featherweight. I don't see a featherweight in front of him, guys. This is not a featherweight. Well, his last fight against Muhammad Azam, he's also big for that weight well, uh, yeah. division. Also big coming up next. Coming up next. Nice, nice low kick attempt, attempt here. Ooh, goes for that oblique kick. Oblique kick, uh, not a very common thing. Most fighters don't like that technique. The, yeah, this is the most, most dangerous technique yeah. in my opinion. Could blow your knee there, it's so nasty. Could snap the knee in half. I, I feel almost like he has that style similar to John Jones' uh, style. Right, he's, he's measuring. Yeah. He's Both fighters have a uh, similar frame. Yeah. Uh, they've been ca uh, more calm this this round. More calm than the, than the first round up here. Oh, nice low kick. Low kick hurt. That low kick that hurt. Kick, that low kick hurt we can me. see him limping here. Yeah. Uh, inv the, the investments in the low kicks by Vander are paying off 100%. Very smart strategy here. And, and uh, look at look at look at the Omar's uh, left leg. Look yeah, it's it's, very it's, red. it's swelled up. It's very swelled, yeah. Uh, Vander got some nice feints. The man trains at uh, SNB and at Venom Fitness Academy. Nice, nice face here. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, nice. These low kicks are heavy, man. And he's mixing it up not only on the left leg now. This one was to the right leg. And he's taking uh, the octagon control here in the, in the center of the octagon. Uh, uh, Vander was uh, uh, throws, throwing t uh, so many feints to Omar Sabri, giving him something to think of. And these, these uh, leg kicks are compromising Omar one by one. But we'll see what Omar does. Omar Sabri goes for another right hand, but Vander catches him. Oh, again, Ooh. again with the low kicks. Now guys, Omar Sabri switches stances, guys. This is this is not. Omar Sabri usually does not switch stances, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a good sign. Oh, and another one. Oh. Yeah, Omar is in the fight and he's exchanging left right. Oh, nice combination here by Omar Sabri. Abdurrahman putting that pressure again. I love his low kick, low kicks, I love it. Vander mixing in the hand feints with the low kicks so that uh, Omar Sabi does not time his low kicks. Omar Sabi throwing another right hand with all of his reach. Omar Sabi checks that one. Vander's not letting him advance. Whenever Omar Sabi takes a step forward, Vander throws that inside leg kick or the outside one even. Both sides of the raga compromised. It's the perfect counter for Omar Sabri's boxing. 100% this man, when, whenever you let this man box with you, his hands always find the mark. Mazen, what do you think of the composure of Abdurrahman here? Well, I think Abdurrahman, the experience, man, the experience adds so much value to an MMA fight. And this is what we see now. He looks for the long-term success and investing in those low kicks, countering the heavy, heavy load on the, front, the lead leg of Omar Sabri's punch. And, oh, now Omar Sabri's in southpaw, throws two left hands. I don't think uh, Vander was expecting that. Omar is attacking from uh, southpaw position. Switching stance again here. He wants to go to that orthodox position, but whenever he does it, uh, Vander keeps on chopping those guys. Look at his legs. I mean. well, round now number two is over. Very smart. Fight. Very smart work this is, from Vander. This is a chess match. We have very smart approach by both fighters. Abdurrahman use, utilizing that low kick. And Omar Sabri is evading that low kick as much as he can, and he's using his combinations, beautiful combinations in round number two. But uh, the low kicks, uh, I think, uh, I think the low kicks are slowly compromising Omar. Um, I think, guys, 100%. guys, it's safe to say the first round is for Omar, the second one is for Vander. Whoever takes this one might be taking the. I'm not the. I'm not the judge, but the it's one one. I, I believe so. I think. I, I, I agree with you, Khaled, yeah. I agree as well. Yeah, I think it was very uh, obvious. Uh, the second round was close, but the first round was very obvious. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I agree with you here. Both both fighters now uh, being coached by their corner. I, I'm wondering what strategy uh, Abdurrahman is going for in this round, because he went explosive a little bit in the first round. In the second round, he was very calm, very collected. I think he... Maybe his corner is going to, ch to tell him to ca to be more calm and be cautious as he did in round number two because he was successful in that round. And guys, Sabri is showing, uh, showing us some evolution in his game because in the first fight against Azem, he gassed out uh, very quick. We had some questions about his conditioning, but now he looks in good shape.
Yeah, Omar, Omar also was very calm and uh, he's not. he didn't go 100% like he did with Muhammad Azam in his last fight where he lost a lot of his energy. An interesting approach, we saw him uh, last fight using his guard and we didn't see his jiu-jitsu much here today. But I'm very intrigued to see how Sabri is going to counter the low kicks of uh, Vander. Obviously he can check but that we didn't see that in round two. Ladies and gentlemen, round number three, let's go! Mezen, this I think fight is fireworks! Mezen, I think it's because Vander keeps on throwing Fight. these feints, so you never know when he's going to throw the actual kick. Look, look at the feints with his hands. Pressure. Ooh, yeah. Nice check hook. Yeah, those feints, he's either, he's either going up or down. We don't know. He, Sabri do not know as well. I think Vander should be careful with that check hook because uh, Omar Sabri is looking for a right cross counter. And now Omar Sabri is in southpaw position. This is where Vander needs to put some boxing in. Omar, Omar in the southpaw position here. Both fighters in southpaw position. A major disadvantage for Omar Sabri. Third round. Ooh, nice left hand connects. Guys, you can see now that Adrakman is using that low kick on Omar Sabri's other leg, his right leg. So it doesn't matter. He just wants his legs. He wants both them legs. Both of them. <laughs> There's a third leg for Sabri, he's gonna kick. This is a chess match here, both fighters very cautious. They don't want to get it to the ground here, they want to keep it standing. Both lengthy strikers using that long reach of them. Nice jab here by Adekman. Ooh, nice jab by Vander. <laughs> I like how both fighters are using each other's techniques, so whenever Abdelman throws a low kick, Omar replies back with a low kick himself. Omar, Omar throwing some uh, left crosses from that southpaw position. Nice jab here by, uh, by Abdelman, he's, he's moving. And uh, Omar is putting the pressure here in round, round three. I wonder if, uh, if Omar is uh, going to attempt to take down. I think, I think he should, he should uh, secure the win. Yeah, he should secure the win. Oh! Both guys landed some shots here. And now Omar Sabri is for the majority of now the Ooh, goes for the takedown. He couldn't have timed it better. <laughs> he goes for the takedown. Nice work from Vander digging in both, both of those underhooks. Oh, gets away. Very nice work from Vander. And uh, Omar Sabri for the majority of the round is fighting at a disadvantage. He's fighting in the southpaw position. And this disadvantage is made possible by the right corner of Vander. This is not his default uh, position here, guys, and both legs are compromised here. We're going to see what, what, what Omar is going to do here. Ben Khaled, Khaled would, you, would you go to the ground if your legs were compromised? I'm not sure if he can, if he can shoot as comfortably with that leg compromised. Uh, it's very hard for him for to advance forward, but I would actually. I wouldn't Ooh. want to strike with Vander. Nice left hand nice left landed. Hand. Nice left hand landed. This is a very, very close fight, guys. And the left hand lands from Omar. And oh. Sabri surprising us. Now he's going to switch his fighting uh, stance onto Southpaw from now on. Omar Sabri with some nice boxing from the Southpaw position. I like how Omar is pressuring, putting on the pressure here. Omar is a beast. He, ha he has to put that pressure so that he can evade those low kicks. And we, s we see both fighters here utilizing their striking. Nice, nice jab here by Abdurrahman. I love how he's moving. Abdurrahman is looking for that check hook from, from the first round, but he doesn't seem to connect. It connected once and it knocked him down in the first round, but uh, he's not having that much success with it. One minute and a half remaining here. Omar Sabri versus Abdurrahman Nail. A great fight, very, very close fight. Yeah, this is one of the fights that I've been looking the most forward to tonight. But ladies and gentlemen, stay with us. We still have some bangers of fights. This fight card, man, so far. The matchmaking, the matchmaking of the card is it's perfect. On another level, man. Styles makes fights. And we saw some styles and we saw some fights. And Vander, uh, Omar Sabri with the pressure, but Vander keeps on catching him when he's uh, when he's coming in. I, I like Omar's pressure. I feel like he has more control here. Maybe, Vander maybe, will, maybe the judges will give him an edge here because of his pressure. Uh, I'm not sure. I think damage should be the, uh, the number one priority. Uh, 100%. 100%. That is not our opinion to say. 100%. Judges, 
And that's why both of these guys need to find a finish or a way to secure this round if there's any controversy regarding the victory. 30 seconds left here. Will we see the fighters put Omar's, more work in Omar's here? corner calling for the takedown. Ooh. Goes in for the takedown like his corner said and Vander's pushing him away with his hips and he's got an underhook. I think he's relatively safe here. Ooh, but uh, Omar Sobri with... 10 seconds left. Nice takedown defense by Abdurrahman here. Will he take him down? That would be a tremendous thing to start. Oh, the round ends. What a war, guys. Ooh. Can't wait to see the Both decision fighters. in this one. Both fighters hug it out. Both fighters raise their hand. It ended very, too very soon. My God. Yeah, very, very close fight by both fighters. Amazing fight by both fighters. Uh, strategic, strategic match here. And look at the replay here, guys. Very, very strategic fight. This, this was a chess match between both strikers here, and we see both them, both of them measuring each other. Uh, and using that, that, that very well. It's, it's gonna interesting, be interesting to interesting see to know. who won. Uh, but in my eyes, both are winners, man. Both fighters are winners. What a war! And now with the official decision, Rakhib al Nasiri. Rakhib al Nasiri taking time, taking time here still to. Uh, the judges still 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 didn't make the decision. Well, it is it is a thinker, my guy. <laughs> we don't know. We have a decision ready. Rakhib al Nasiri has his d the decision now. Can't wait to see the decision here. Amazing fight by both fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges. Scorecard for decisions. The judges scored 29 28, 29 28, 30 27. For the winner by unanimous decision, Abdurrahman! Ma, عايزين سقف both corners ماتش جامد جدا من عبد الرحمن نائل ومن عمر صبري. Come on, come on, come on.